Spring propaganda season, if you will. It's college football junkie season still, but spring propaganda is running rampant. And there's a lot of folks now that hear propaganda and they say, oh, that's a bad thing. Hey, propaganda, stay away. We don't want spring propaganda. We fall on the exact opposite side of that fence when it comes to that train of thought. We're like, hey, it's spring ball. If you don't win spring ball as a fan, that's on you. You should be a national champion in your mind every single spring. You want to know why? Because there's been zero games played. It's only practice, and it's only off of the buzz and the message boards and the intel that you're hearing. So that's why we say, hey, spring propaganda, baby. Bring it on. Bring us some more of that. So that led me to ask the question here, what is your favorite spring propaganda that you like to partake in? A couple of these that I'm a big fan of. The social snippet from practice. Oklahoma dropped a banger yesterday. Jackson Arnold in a team period on the run, throws a frozen rope for a touchdown to his guy, and I'm like, man, pass that Jackson Arnold Kool-Aid this way, baby. I'm, I'm buying stock in Jackson Arnold this spring. You want to know why? Because you just get a little bit of a glimpse of the highlight, and that's where we get to form our entire opinion on what they're going to be in the fall as a college football fan. I love it. Social snippet, spring propaganda, chef's kiss. In that same vein, when it comes to buzz around your program, I have never once heard of a quarterback behind closed doors during the early part of spring practice that we're in right now, that's not absolutely spinning it. Not just, I mean, just RPMs on the ball, and this is what you hear. Hey, he looks good. (laughs) I, I love this propaganda. He looks good. He looks more confident. He looks more poised. He's in control of the offense. Vocal leader, light years ahead of where he was last year. Just totally disregard what happened last year. Totally disregard what they didn't do on the field last year. Totally disregard the fact that they threw more interceptions than touchdowns. Hey, he's more comfortable. He's more in his own skin right now, knowing he's the guy. He's spinning it. Spring propaganda, your quarterback spinning it. I absolutely love that. This is one that Trey Anity and I talked about before the show, which I thought he was on the money. The spring propaganda around the early enrollees is nothing short of phenomenal. Like the, hey, he's supposed to be at prom right now. He's here during the spring game. He's, he's practicing with the guys. And then on top of that, saying, well, hey, he's going to be special. He's different. <laughs> he's, he's figured out the playbook so quickly, man. Like he's going to be a dude for you day one. Now, some of that is true. I think by that propaganda when it comes to Jeremiah Smith and Cam Coleman. But nonetheless, man, soak it in. Enjoy it. You don't get to take any Kool-Aid into the fall with you. Drink it all during the spring. The early enrollee propaganda, second to none. The five stars already on campus. Hey, you can tell he's different, man. He's different. He's got, a, he's got a different way of moving about him. He's got a different different buzz around him when you see him on the field. He's an alpha. I love that. I love that so much. The assistant coach, that's a game changer for you. You hear this every year with the new staff. Hey, he, he walks out on the pitch, man. On the pitch. I hate that so much I just said that. Uh, I'm watching the David Beckham documentary right now. He walks out on the field, does the new assistant coach, and he just he changes the game, man. He, you can tell he knows how to talk to the players. He's going to raise that position group that, that position group so much. And there's also always somehow baked in the fact that this new assistant coach is going to call plays somehow. Like, you didn't hire him to be the OC or the DC, but it's always the, oh, yeah, he'll, he'll have influence on play calling. Really? He's a wide receivers coach. Yeah, he's going to have influence on the play calling, though. I mean, he's just it, – it also, it's always the, well, we're going to have him for one year because he's going to be a head coach next year. He's going to be a coordinator next year. There's no way we keep him for another year. I love that, dude. I absolutely love that propaganda. The last one here I want to get to, the they look different propaganda. Hey, these guys have added 10, 15 pounds of muscle, man. It's a different looking football team. I know they're out there in shorts and just jerseys and helmets, but like they, they're a different looking football team. They're, they're ready for this gauntlet of a schedule. This is not actually untrue because during spring football, you're seeing these guys right after they finish winter conditioning And the goal for winter conditioning in most circles is to put on muscle mass that you're then assume you're going to lose some of that weight during the course of that of that 15 spring practices. When I was at Baylor, the goal for us, if we were trying to get to a certain weight, for me at least, it was gain a pound a week. Y'all, I've never been so heavy by the time fall practice started. I promise you I did look different. So the they look different propaganda, second to none. All these are second to none, which doesn't really make sense, but nonetheless spring propaganda it's that time of year man enjoy it soak it in do not lose the spring season in your mind don't lose it don't lose it win spring buy the propaganda drink the kool-aid you can't take it with you hey y'all thanks so much for watching subscribe to the channel here to make sure you don't miss an episode of the hard count also be sure to check out other videos on the on three youtube channel